Hey guys, what is up? This is probably the most spontaneous video that I have ever made. I hit up Rob from Deer Meat for Dinner and I told him I really want to shoot a hog. I want to put a hog in my smoker. A couple minutes later he calls me and don't tell him this, but I was sitting on the toilet and he said, you want to shoot a hog? And I said, yes I do. And Rob tells me, well come to the ranch right now. I grabbed my bow, I hopped in my car and now I am leaving Vero Beach, driving south on 95, heading to uh, Jupiter. Gonna meet up with Rob. He told me his camera guy was out there. No matter what happens, I'm really excited right now. Hopefully uh, we see some hogs, hopefully we get some meat, and hopefully uh, the smoker will be fired up tomorrow. Went to go fishing off the beach this morning, but there is so much seaweed, it was crazy. Really? Target practice. I'm still, but I'm missing by like an inch. I'm trying to just shave the right hand side of that arrow. There. Bingo. Lighter fluid, and it's all she wrote, hopefully. They can't handle that eeper. Uh, back to my camp. Will it ruin the tire?
too dark to see anything. I'm going to give it another five minutes. If I don't get anything in five minutes, I'm going to call Rob and tell him to pick me up out of the tree stand. So now the Well, I didn't get that hog that I was looking for, but um, that was really cool to see uh, Rob's ranch, and right now I am following him and his camera guy back to Rob's house. I'm going to chill with his family, uh, eat some pizza before I head back home, and hopefully, I mean, that's hunting. You don't always get something every time. I will be putting a hog in the smoker real soon, so stay tuned. So I was sitting in the pool yesterday and I thought of a great idea. I might have not got a hog at Rob's house yesterday or on his ranch, but I have video footage of my first hog hunt ever, which was on a WMA here in Florida, which is basically a wildlife management area or well, that's what it stands for. And basically what it is is public hunting land and not just hunting, you can camp or fish um, all the WMAs here in Florida kind of have different rules. Some of them you can hunt hogs almost year-round, and some of them you can't ho hunt hogs at all. Some of them you need to get uh, quotas, you know, if you're deer hunting or whatever whatever it might be, turkey, quail. Uh, there's, there's a ton of different options if you don't have a hunting lease or you don't have land to hunt on. The Florida WMAs is a great option for you and that's where I got my first hog. There's hundreds of WMAs here in Florida and if you want to look to see if you can find one in your area I'm going to add a link in the video description to the WMA map to where you can see all the ones in Florida. You could find one close to you and then you can read about it and read the rules and see when you can hunt and what you can hunt. With that being said I had the hardest time trying to get this footage. Um, this was from two or three years ago. And this is back before I even had a YouTube channel. So I was taking this footage not really knowing what I was going to do with it. I try to make it good. I didn't narrate too much. So that's kind of why I'm going to narrate for my past self right now. So I was looking for the footage everywhere. And... I'm sure you guys know how it goes. When you move, I, I live. I went from Vero to Fort Lauderdale to Key Largo, or back to Vero and then to Key Largo. And in that time, I had a few different computers. I had six hard drives I looked through. I probably looked through over 6,000 gigabytes of data trying to find this old hunting footage. I probably looked through 20 SD cards. I looked everywhere, and I couldn't find it. And I was pretty sad because I thought, man, I... I took the time to videotape this, it was such a great memory, and it's gone. And then I, I did one Hail Mary search. This is the camera that I used on the hunting trip. I know, it's, it's tiny and pretty old school looking. And inside the camera, right here where my uh, middle finger is pointing to, is a slot for an SD chip, and it was empty. So I, so I thought, oh, I must have taken the footage off of this camera at some point, I took the chip out. But then I thought, I remember some of these cameras uh, have internal built-in memory. What are the chances it might be on there? And I plugged it in and guess what? I found my hunting footage on this baby right here. Along with a trip to Slovakia with my ex-girlfriend. By the way, this is the new camera that I'm using. So yeah, I've stepped up my game a little bit. But I was super stoked and sat down, started editing the footage. So before I start playing that footage, I'm going to quickly just say, give you a quick intro. Basically, there's a WMA just south of Fort Pierce, Florida, kind of in the Jupiter Stewart area. There's a WMA in that area that I found that had a open hog season that allows bow hunting. They don't allow tree stands, so that's why you see me basically stalking the whole time. And I walk around, and yeah, this is it. Here we go.
Well, overall, that was a pretty good hunt. Saw a couple deer that I didn't catch on camera. Got a, saw some pigs, those sneaky little piggies. What else did I see out there? I saw a couple turkeys. My first time going out to this spot in Florida in public hunting land. Can't beat it. I'll probably come back tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll give myself a big, big ol' hug. A big ol' big ol'. I gotta say, it is nice when you come back and you got some chicken and some honey mustard. Mmm. This is my brand new bow that I was using today. Oh, it's a little dark, can't see it. Tomorrow, I'll have to come back out here and just make another video, I guess. Right after I finish this chicken. I'd say it's a pretty good day when you at least see the animal that you're trying to hunt. Which, that's a nice piggy piggy today. I swear I've been dreaming about that hand roast. It's gonna be so good when I finally get it. Mm. It's a little chilly for Florida. I know Florida doesn't really get cold, but it's a little nipply. I'd say, my hands are cold. That was the first day of hunting. I probably walked around for close to six or eight hours. I saw hogs, I saw deer, I found lots of tracks, and I went back out the second day. The second day I went out, I went out probably for another eight hours just walking around, and I didn't take any footage of the second day because I thought I already got enough filler footage. You know, if I'm gonna find a hog, I'm gonna shoot it and I'll videotape that, but I don't need any more filler footage. And I found a honey hole while I was uh, walking around on day two. So I'm pretty confident at this point that day three, when I go out, I'm gonna get a hog. So I asked my dad, who has never hunted, by the way, I asked him to come out there with me and kind of help me out because I'm so positive I'm gonna shoot a hog on day three that I know I'm gonna need help carrying that sucker back to the car and bring it back home. <laughs> These are the kind of things that you see out here. You got the perfect target track and you have such a nice view. <laughs> Trying to figure out what kind of track this is. This huge bug just landed on me. This ain't so bad. No, it's okay. <laughs>
yeah. Driving back to find, pick the pig up. Had to carry the pig like a mile. Maybe stay a little more <gasps> to the other side, go. No, no, we, we went through. Oh, fuck. We're, all right, I think that was the worst part. When it comes to slipperiness. Yeah, but there's another bad one, which is more like an angle problem. <laughs> the joys, the joys. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get stuck right there for sure. Yeah? Yeah, I really... No, I, I was positive that I would kick the gas when I have to, and then I said, ah, oh, everything is dirty. <laughs> We're not expecting to be doing this. Man, I hope I look I hate scratches. Oh yeah, that sound. This is a new car. Well, now you have a reason to get a new car, huh? <laughs> That's a way to look at it. Yeah, people watching this might be like, this isn't so bad, oh, but no, this is the one. Yep, this is that far. I want to just stay right. Oh, jeez. All right, I think that was all the bad stuff. Kind of. So, I don't know. It still looks. Oh god, yeah. Ouch! That big pile. Hopefully, grass. Yeah, it was grass. Yes. Mm hmm Yeah, and it'll open up soon. Mm -hmm. Here. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess this, <laughs> this wasn't too bad. Okay, yeah. Uh, and this is where we stay, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, for a pig. <laughs> How much worse is that meat? <laughs> it's, it's priceless. Ten bucks? <laughs> Fifteen? <laughs> Look how tight it looks now. <laughs> yeah, when we were walking, yeah, it, it seemed like a wide yeah, lane. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not run the pig over. <laughs> it should be right over here somewhere. Fudge is a stomach. Ben is probably also good for. Oh, that now one. that was a bad one. How the hell are we going to turn around? Shit, that's a good question. There's something there, don't hit that. Should, yeah, should I move that real quick? Yeah. Oh, there it, oh there it is. Yeah, let's not ride it over. Am I clear when I... Mm, yeah. <sighs> Big fat pig, eh? Sometimes you get into real tight spots out here. And you gotta do a 50 point turn to get out. That's just one of those things that you have to do. <laughs> this is a cozy little trail right here. <laughs> yeah, if you're in a truck, you could haul through this. It wouldn't matter. Oh yeah, I'd love to do that. But... Although it probably doesn't make a too big difference by now. As long as you don't hit some hit the exhaust pipe or something. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is it. Alright, so maybe go a little faster here. Oh, we oh, we got, oh we made it! Alright, that was I think <laughs> I think we're good now. This this was the worst. Whew. Holy shit. You know, once you get stuck, there's oh. nothing you can do. I've tried. Especially I've tried with everything. This car, it's so heavy. <laughs> you can hardly move it. Oh, well, we made it. So we got the hog. But I want to put a quick disclaimer out that I am completely self-taught when it comes to hunting. So the cleaning and cooking part of it. I'm, I'm trying my best. Um, before you critique me, um, if you have any good advice uh, from what you see me doing, 
just leave a comment below uh, how you think I can do it better next time. But also take into consideration, this was a few years ago. I have a real smoker now, not the ghetto rig one that you're going to see. And I definitely learned a lot more about cooking wild game. So don't batter me too hard on my methods. Also, the cleaning part might be a little disturbing to some of you. So just forewarning you about that. Well, I got I got my knives ready to finally flay this pig. I'm covered in what are these things called? Hitchhikers. 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 Things. So now we gotta hang this from our tree in our front yard. <laughs> All right. They look exactly like the ones in the Bahamas, by the way. Can I take the front? Yeah, you want to grab the front legs? Oh, you want to pull it out already? Oh, we can take the whole can, thing out. Or we can take it in. Here, if you want to grab the back legs. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'll grab the front legs. Now we can un untake it. There you go. A real pig, huh? It's quite a pig, huh? I don't know, Andy. I think you're a little bit of redneck. How do you know what you do? Okay, in there for another one. He's a professional. Then this is better than him. Sag mal, ist das jetzt schon ein bisschen aufgedunsen, weil es so lange tot ist, oder? Uh, maybe mm, uh, a little, little bit. bit. Let's hoist this. Hoist it. Prize possession. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so heavy. You need some help? Yes. <sighs> yeah. We don't have a pulley system. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> I need some. Uh... All right, one more little, like a half a foot more. Actually, this is good. Maybe one half foot more. Okay, there's good. Hold it real tight. And then we gotta wrap this rope around the tree. My beer. No, I flipped. Where's my beer? Oh. Yeah. Nancy. <sighs> Alright, so basically, I'm gonna make a little incision here. Uh, you can get closer. I mean, don't make it a long one, just... Running now. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> you need a disclaimer for that one. Okay, now you got it. I'm ready. A kidney. You can eat that. Don't worry, the worst part's almost over. <laughs> well, not this one, apparently. <laughs> I think they lose some. Um... Uh, uh... I've seen people do this and they're just like. In one stroke. Oh, okay. Oh, 
when you do this on YouTube, it looks way easier. Tony. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, nice coat. With the tail on it. Yes, come show. I'm not gonna say it was super professional, but... Now we do a little recording here. You want to split the ribs? Yeah. Mm. Mm, it is heavy. See, this is your lower back, Andy. That's what hurts. <laughs> this is the pelvis, right? Or something? I... Yeah. That's when you do a hip replacement, right there. <laughs> or do you sure you might not want to look at How do you know all that? YouTube. <clears throat> so... Well, that's a loin. Mm -hmm. It's oh, a yeah. good cut of meat. Cut the other side out now. <clears throat> Put a little bit of extra ice on the cooler. Why are the lights not turning on? Andy, the, the motion sensor lights aren't going on. How do you do that? I don't know. Uh, there's a switch on the lamp. There's a switch in the back. Maybe if you move. Oh, okay. Alright. Ow! F you just shocked the sh out of me. The That thing. Just wanted to put a little bit of extra ice on it. Here. These are all. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, guck mal. Oh my god, I can see a Wochen von this. <gasps> Yeah. So we got the hind quarters, front ones, got even the rack of ribs in there. I still got to cut those in half. Yeah. Got one of the loins right there. Let's put a little bit of extra ice on there. You want to hold this line? Perfect. Never hurts to have this extra bit of ice. So yeah, we're gonna cure this for like four, five, six days until the water runs out clear. And then we're gonna barbecue. Make it real good. Let me drain out some. Alright. Yeah, you can't really tell, but the water's coming out oh, pretty bloody. And once the meat's good, it should be coming out clear in a few days. So we'll just keep putting ice on it for now. So it's been three days looking for the pigs. Today was the day. It wasn't easy. I was like walking around for miles and miles every day and I finally found the pig. Now I get to wear my P PJs, I get to wear my comfy shirt, lay in my comfy bed, wear my hat, 
and relax. Oh, she almost fell asleep. Sorry if I look a little rough. I don't have my shaver with me. I forgot it down in Fort Lauderdale, so I haven't shaved in a while. I look a little crazy. But let me go over my gear. This is my carrying case. Alright, so. Um, where to start? Let's start with the boat. This is a diamond provider. I have it at, uh, I think it's a 60, 65 pound draw. Here, let me put it down so it's a little easier to see from afar. Okay. So you can tell I have the GoPro mounted right there on the front. That's how I get my kill shots. Really love this bow so far. I mean, now, the f now that I killed a pig with it, I'm just... Heck yeah, this is the beast. When I go to the archery range, I don't, I don't keep, uh, how do you take this thing off? Yeah, I don't keep this, uh, thing on it. But when I'm out walking around in the woods, I'll have it on, because I don't have any other way of carrying my arrows right now. If there's something that you think is a really good way of carrying arrows, let me know. And I'll try to apply it. You know, maybe a quiver on my side or on my back, but I don't know about all that. I just keep it attached to the bow for now. Yeah, let's look at the arrows. Just so you can see what I'm using. Holy shoot. I forgot. Oh man, I forgot that the arrow I shot the pig with is still in here. I need to clean that. Oh crap. Before it gets all crusty and nasty. But um, what kind of arrows are these? XS Envy's 400s. And then the tips, oh, that's just gross here. I'll, uh, here's the box they came in. That's probably the best way to look at it. I, I liked it. I mean, I, I don't know much about tips, what's good, what's not, but it did the job. That's my setup. Oh, my range finder is downstairs, so. But yeah, that's some of the equipment I use. I'll probably go a little more into detail on the things I use. So I'm going to put some apple cider vinegar, three lemons, and I'm going to put them all in this spray bottle. And then I'm going to spray the meat and let it soak in the water for maybe another four or five days. This is the next morning. I wasn't able to do this last night because I didn't have uh, the vinegar or the lemons. So we'll go ahead and do this now. So here we have the cooler from last night, and as you can see, still nicely covered in ice, but now I want to actually soak the meat underwater in the vinegar solution that I just made. But before we do that, I want to make sure that all the old water it should be nice and bloody. Yep. I want to make sure that all this bloody water is drained out before I add new ice and new water and the vinegar solution. I'm going to spray this. I just made it. It's a little over a cup of that apple vinegar and about three-fourths of a cup of freshly squeezed lemons. Um, and then I added some water so it's not too potent when I spray it directly on the meat. All right, let's see what we have here. Ah, oh, yeah, we have, oh, look how good these pieces of meat look. There's some hair on the meat because, like I said, I'm not a professional yet. So my, move this leaf out of the way, so my uh, filleting skills were not top of the line, but, but it got the job done. I have all my four quarters, I have the ribs, and I have the two loins in there. So once that's done draining, which it is, we're ready to spray the meats. I'm holding the bucket up so I can really make sure you can see there's still water in there. All that needs to get drained out. It's very bloody in there. Up here you can see it's nice and just ice now. Hopefully this blood water is nice and uh, fertile for the plants. I bet it's full of delicious nutrients. 
All right, it's a little hard to hold the camera and spray at the same time because I want to actually be using two hands for this, but yeah. So basically, I'm gonna just spray all the meat like this with my vinegar lemon solution. I'm gonna turn the camera off for now and actually be able to grab the meats and make sure all sides of it are uh, sprayed. All right, so I've sprayed all the meats. You can see the two hams. The two front shoulders, the uh, and the rib cage here. This is gonna make sure that it doesn't have that gamey flavor. And I'll also make sure that uh, gets rid of any contaminations that might potentially occur. The vinegar fights very well against that. As you can see, I, I used maybe half, a little more than half of the solution already. So now I want to start adding, ah, adding adding some filtered water until all the meat is completely submerged. So I'll need a few more of these. Okay, so I've completely submerged all the meat under the water, the ice water, and uh, it's pretty much ready to, to just soak now. I want to use the rest of my solution. I know I could just pour it in, but I think spraying is more fun. Evenly spread it around. These ribs are just too big, so part of them are going to have to stick outside of the water, but it's okay. If your meat starts to turn blue, means you've added too much vinegar, and that's okay. All you have to do is add more water drain the vinegary water and add uh, fresh water and that should take care of that problem. So, almost used it all here. So probably tonight before I go to sleep I'll add another bag or two of ice on top of this just to make sure that it stays real nice and cold. And hopefully in the next four or five days, the meat will be perfect and ready to be stored, eaten, frozen. Now there's a lot of different ways I'm gonna prepare this. All right, let's close this puppy up. Yeah, so. Oh, look at that picture. Yeah, I got it. Got some water, keep the humidity in there. Wood chips in there for the smoke. One ham, one shoulder. And then the beast of the rib rack. <laughs> got a long way to go. There's a nice amount of smoke coming out of the back of this thing. Try to cover these holes up with some foil, but it's not working very well, but I guess it is working well. Let's take a peek. The chips are smoking real good. Dark. <laughs> nice, decent little and smoke. And then we have to carry 110 pounds or so. Uh, I don't know. That's how much it weighed? And it was heavy. at least 70, 80, 90. Yeah. Seriously? It was heavy. How do you like it? I like it plain, but we barbecue sauce is good. We got to a certain point where there was a chance to get there with a the car. Good. Like it's a really good. Like a Range Rover. You, you can taste the smoke thing. Because to get there was a yeah. rough road. Oh, shoot. I only There's the more in there. <laughs> Oh, I have to like clean the screen there. Oh, is the smoke line? line? Yep, the red line, that's the, the whole smoke line. The experience was crazy. Mm. <laughs> I've never done anything. I normally don't do these things. <laughs> Heiko is like the best friend that Jordan's ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
See this smoke ring on the on the ham. Not a bad, bad chunk right there. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I also want to say that pretty much everything I learned um, when it comes from how to hunt, how to shoot my bow, how to clean the pig, and how to cook it, um, where to hunt, everything about the WMAs, I learned all of that by myself, a lot through YouTube, a lot through other sites, a lot through the forums, and if you want to hunt a hog or anything, whatever you want to do, just do it. I, that sounds kind of like a Nike ad, doesn't it? If you like this video, make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm only going to be putting out even more good videos and I'm going to make sure that they're even more in-depth and very professional learning quality stuff. I can't wait to get back out there in the woods again and I am ready to really smoke a hog in my new smoker now that I actually know how to really smoke. So let's make some pulled pork sandwiches together. Cheers, everybody.